Hare Krishna everybody. So we'll continue from where we left. That was the sixth chapter. We are bringing the seventh chapter now. <clears throat> For those who are new, we are uh, doing the complete overview of Shrimad Bhagavatam. We are trying to do in 20, 22 sessions. <clears throat> Every session we'll try to cover a few chapters. <clears throat> so Narad Muni he instructed Veda Vyasji to write Srimad Bhagavatam. And after Veda Vyasji, after Naraji left, Veda Vyas uh, started meditating on the instructions given by Naraji. And when he was meditating, he was able to realize the Srimad Bhagavatam. And that's where Veda Vyasji he revised he revised the Bhagavatam. Jeeva Swami Pad in Tattu Sandarbha, he says that when Vedavyas compiled the 18 Puranas, he already compiled the Srimad Bhagavatam as well. But it was in a small format. When he received instructions from Narad Muni, that is the time where Vedavyas ji, he revised his previous edition. Sometimes the authors, they publish a book and then they realize, oh, this part is missing in that. So they revise the book and bring up a better version in the, in the second edition of the book. So this is this is what happened. That when Veda Vyasi, along with the along with the Puranas, he also compiled Shrimad Bhagavatam. But he did not realize that it was a Mahapurana. So when Narad Muni instructed Veda Vyasa about the glories of Shrimad Bhagavatam, that's where Veda Vyas, Veda Vyasi, he revised and brought Shrimad Bhagavatam Mahapuram. That's the version which we have currently. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> after uh, you know, discussing this past times, <clears throat> Sutta Goswami Pad uh, began to describe about the uh, Lord Krishna's various past times, including uh, the life and activities of Parikshit Maharaj. So when uh, when the respective warriors of the, both the camps, namely the Kauravas and the Pandavas, uh, were killed on the battlefield. The 64 crore people, they actually gathered in front of each other on the Kurukshetra battlefield. And <clears throat> many of them, 64 crore, uh, and very few were left actually. And <clears throat> But the Trastras, uh, the reason of this whole fight was the reason of Dhritarast Maharaj was blinded for establishing uh, the actual dharma. So the whole world was divided into two parts. One was with the Kauravas, one was with the Pandavas. Ashwatthama, the son of Dronacharya, sided always towards Duryodhana. When, <clears throat> when the whole battle was, you know, when the whole battle was almost over. And uh, Yudhishthi Maharaj was supposed to take the kingdom, right? But Ashwatthama did not give up. Ashwatthama was alive. Ashwatthama was a very crooked hearted person. <laughs> he, because of the bad association of Duryodhana, he became very crooked. Although he was the son of a Brahman, although his father was very elevated, his father was Dronacharya, but still, because of him for associating with uh, personalities like Dronacharya, Shakuni and others, he also uh, was misguided and misleaded. So what did Ashwatthama do? Ashwatthama was uh, encouraged by some of his fellow friends to cut off the head of the Pandavas in the dead of the night. But wh what happened actually was that when Ashwatthama went and he thought that these, these are the Pandavas. He actually cut off the five sons of Draupadi. Imagine dead of a night when someone is sleeping, someone comes with a big knife and cuts off the head of five people. Early morning when this news spread, Arjuna became mad. And Arjuna promised Draupadi, I will bring the head of Ashwatthama. Ashwatthama was thinking that his act of killing the five sons of Pandavas will please Duryodhana. So he very gladly, very happily broke the news to Duryodhana. Duryodhana was 
still alive. He was on the deathbed, but he was alive. So he broke the news, expecting that at least my master, uh, Duryodhana, would be pleased with me at the last, at the last uh, days of his life. But Duryodhana also chastised Ashwatthama that you shouldn't be doing that. Although Duryodhana had so many bad qualities, but this act was not appreciated even by, Dhanach, uh, even by Duryodhana. And Ashwatthama, he decided that now what to do? Hmm? So he started running because he knew Arjuna will be behind him. Arjuna along with Lord Krishna started chasing Ashwatthama. And Ashwatthama's horse became, horses became very tired. And Ashwatthama knew that now Arjuna is going to come and kill him. So Ashwatthama had no option. But Ashwatthama was very learned in the science of uh, the art of uh, the weapons. He knew all the astras, divyastras. He had all the brahmastras with him, access to brahmastra also. So he finally decided that let me take out the brahmastra now. Because it is for my protection. If I don't do this, I'll be killed. So Ashwatthama, the son of Dronacharya, he, he chants the mantra for Brahmastra and he releases that Brahmastra. So Brahmastra is more powerful than today's nuclear weapons. If you see, if you compare nuclear weapons to current nuclear weapons to this Brahmastra, nuclear weapons are like you know small cracker. Huh? <laughs> What we, which we burn during Diwali time. Uh, whereas Brahmastra can actually destroy a planet. Mm. So, Ashwatthama, he released the, the Brahmastra, but he, had, he did not knew the science of retrieving it back. So he released, and Arjuna saw that, some, uh, that Brahmastra is coming towards him. Initially, he did not know what was going on. But then Arjuna was with Krishna and he immediately took shelter of Krishna. He glorified him. He said, that he glorified Krishna that Krishna, you appear, you appear in this world for protecting uh, those, uh, for protecting those who are in need. So you, you come here to protect your devotees. So please tell me what is going on here. And then he said, this is the act of the son of, Ash son of Dronacharya. Ashwatthama has released a weapon. So Arjuna said, now what I have to do? Krishna said, you release the weapon also. And counteract the Brahmastra of Ashwatthama and then retrieve both of them. So Arjuna circumvented Lord Krishna, took his permission and released the Brahmastra and both the Brahmastra collided. And it was it was it was a big big collision. And then by the desire of the Lord. Arjuna was able to retrieve both the Brahmastras. And then Ashwatthama was arrested by Arjuna. And Arjuna, he was he wanted to kill Ashwatthama because he promised Draupadi. But as soon as he caught hold of Ashwatthama, he immediately realized that, he, that Ashwatthama's father, Dronacharya, taught me the science of using the weapons. He is the son of my guru. How can I do that? Although he is a murderer, he is a heinous person, but still, I cannot kill him. So Krishna started chastising him. He was testing him in whether he knows religion or not. So finally, Ashwatthama was brought in front of Draupadi and everybody assembled there. Yudhishthira Maharaj, Nakul, Sahadev, Bhima and everybody. And all of them, they gave their opinion. Kill this rascal, do this, do this, do this. So some, most of them, finally, they, they were agreed that Ashwatthama should not be killed. Why? Because his father has contributed in our lives. So how can we kill the son of a Brahmana? Although he is the most fallen of the Brahmana, well, most fallen, but still he is the son of a Brahmana. He is a Brahmana. So Draupadi forgave Ashwatthama and told Arjuna, don't kill him. But Bhima said, if you don't kill, I will kill. Bhima was very angry. So Lord Krishna told Arjuna, Arjuna, now you decide what has to be done. You should pacify Bhima, know my orders and what is in the scriptures, 
also pacify everyone here and also you should punish the person he has killed he has did, did a wrong act so he needs to be punished so finally arjuna he took out the sword and he there was a jewel on ashwatthama's forehead he removed that jewel and then the, he he shaved him off half half mustache and half uh, so it was like that and he was released so Ash- ashwatthama was offended by this very badly so that's how that, that's how the son of uh, drona was was punished very badly and <clears throat> then lord krishna he he actually uh, he planned now to go to dwarka so many so many months krishna spent in with arjuna the pandavas he fought the battle he uh, established uh, dharma it was now time that yudhishthira maharaj to be coroned as a king and now krishna knew that everything is going to happen he doesn't need to stay here now because the devotees in dwarka his his wife 16108 wives were waiting for krishna for them even the moment of separation was like a separation of a millennium and they were all waiting they were all crying they were all lamenting so krishna sat on the chariot and he was he was greeting everybody goodbye and he was just about to go at that time at that time uh uttara uh, the wife of abhimanyu uttara she came she comes running krishna krishna please protect me please protect me what happened and uh, now everybody was observing this this everybody was uh, observing this that uttara has come running asking for help from krishna because ashwatthama has released the brahmastra again and while they were discussing that five brahmastras were coming towards the pandavas and one was coming towards parikshit in the form of tottara and the pandavas the the most powerful pandavas when they saw five brahmastras coming towards each one of them they tried to take out their weapons but it was not possible for them to protect themselves krishna bhakta vatsal lord shri krishna adbhut karma shri krishna took out the sudarshan chakra and with the sudarshan chakra he nullified all the five brahmastras that were coming towards pandavas and this is how he protected he protected all the pandavas then here uttara comes running and begs for uh, uh, you know he begs she begs asking for protection and <clears throat> and krishna understanding the whole scenario supreme lord he is as parmatma in the hearts of every living entities right so he enters the womb of uttara krishna is outside standing in front of everyone at the same time he enters the womb of uttara and everybody there everybody there who were uh unalloyed devotees huh? they were able to see this whole leela this past times but how krishna Uh, entered the womb of uttara and protected parikshit maharaj so when parikshit maharaj was <clears throat> when, when parikshit maharaj saw that someone was someone was circumventing the lord krishna what was he doing he was carrying club he was carrying club and he was carrying sudarshan and with both his weapons he was circumventing parikshit maharaj in the womb so acharya has asked the question why is the lord using these two things he could outside by standing he, he with his sudarshan chakra he nullified five brahmastras and here inside the womb of the mother he is using two weapons for what so some of the acharyas are right that krishna was thinking if sudarshan fails my devotee should not die so let me have an alternative ready with me so that if sudarshan fails i will have some something else to protect so that was the uh, so krishna was uh, uh, actually uh, protecting personally protecting parikshit maharaj in the womb and parikshit maharaj was fortunate to see the lord krishna in the womb of the mother itself now <clears throat> all these things were seen by kunti maharani and kunti maharani started to glorify lord krishna kunti maharani saying namaste purusham tvadyam 
ईश्वरे प्रकृते परम अलक्ष्यम सर्वभूता अंतर बहिरावस्थित सो ना कुंती महाराणी ऑफर्स वेरी स्पेस शी सिंग ऑफर माय रेस्पेक्टफुल ऑब्जेक्शन्स टू यू कुंती महाराणी शी सिंग यू आर द ओरिजिनल पर्सनैलिटी शी इज आंट ऑफ कृष्णा बट नाउ शी इज ऑफरिंग ऑब्जेक्शन्स एज अ डिवोटेड वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग है कृष्णाज आंट इज ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू कृष्णा सो कृष्णा यू शू टच द फीट ऑफ कुंती महाराणी कृष्णा यू शू टच द फीट ऑफ युदिश महाराज and uh, with the shivaraj ji blessings uh, that may you live long uh, may you always eternally reside in dwarka like that some blessings is to given but here kumti maharani is offering her prayers that uh, you are the original personality and you are unaffected by the qualities of material you exist both in the both and both within and without everything and kumti maharani she was she was saying krishnaya va she was praying krishnaya vasudevaya देवकी नंदनाय शनंद गोप कुमाराय गोविंदाय नमो नम आई वॉन्ट टू ऑफर माई रेस्पेक्ट टू ऑपरेशन जस्ट टू यू बिकॉज यू आर गिविंग प्लेजर टू देवकी यू आर द यू आर गिविंग प्लेजर टू नंद महाराज यू आर गिविंग प्लेजर टू वृंदावन वासीज एंड यू आर यू आर एक्चुअली दू प्लेजर टू देंसेस एंड देन यू फर्दर सेज नम पंकज नाभाय नम पंकज मालिने नम पंकज नेत्राय नमस्ते पंकज आंग्रे शी सेंग दैट your uh, everything about you is lotus your abdomen is uh, is marked with the depression of a lotus flower your uh, face is like a lotus your uh, glances is like a lotus so everything is everything is sweet in your life uh, and because of because your because of your presence our life is sweet so i cannot go a lot in detail of this because we are doing an overview uh, but <coughs> kunti marani is uh, नमो अकिंचन वित्ताय निवृत्त गुणवृत्त आत्मरामाय शांताय कैवल्यपत नम शी सेंग दैट यू हैव नथिंग टू डू विद द एक्शन एंड द रिएक्शन ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड कृष्णा कम्स हियर ही डज लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर ऑर्डनरी पीपल ही इज एन ऑर्डनरी पर्सन फॉर बट फॉर डिवोट इज देट कृष्ण सुप्रीम पर्सनिटी ऑफ कॉन्टेट सो कुंती मारा ने सेंग दैट यू हैव नथिंग टू डू विद द एक्शन एंड द रिएक्शन ऑफ द मोर्स ऑफ मेडिकल नेचर यू आर सेल्फ सेटिस्फाइड यूर आत्मराम and therefore you are the most gentle and you are uh, the master of all the monasteries and there are so many play- prayers where uh, she is saying that kunti manali says that your your birth your activities everything is transcendental and uh, uh, you have appeared here to establish dharma you have appeared here what is the what is the mission of the lord when he comes here the mission of the lord is to attract the conditioned souls towards him the lord comes here he performs his past times and all the condition so they hear those leelas of they see the leelas of the lord and they get attracted and they become devotees of the lord but one might say that what is the situation now the lord is not there right the lord is not there so what is the situation now the lord is still there all those past times is not as performed are recorded in the form of bhagavatam and the devotees of the lord the sadhus the mahajan they sing they glorify the lord's past time from bhagavatam and they do the same thing they they establish the lost relationship of the of the people with krishna so the mission of the lord is still going on because krishna is there in the form of shrimad bhagavatam the mission has not stopped the mission of attracting the conditioned souls is still going on and shrimad bhagavatam is doing that the devotees of the, the devotees of the lord are doing that and she remembers that uh, so many difficulties her family has gone through you know pandavas they have gone through so much difficulties they were put to suffering like from like from from the hands of dronacha from the hands of uh, dhritarashtra and duryodhana several times several attempts were made to kill them the lakshagraha incident we all know uh, all the pandavas uh, they were given uh, they they were they were told that this is a retreat go and go go for a retreat but they go they go there and then the plan was to burn them to ashes somehow by the lord's uh, will they are protected similarly when when uh, bhima was very 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 young he was been fed with poison like that there are numerous in- incidences where uh, where the kauravas made attempts to kill kill dhritarashtra uh, kill the sons of pandav uh, and kunti mara remembers all of them and she was saying just now i saw that ashwathama was trying to kill uh, my my uh, uttara son and she is telling let such incident happen with me again and again all this incident all this bad all this problems all this obstacles let it happen again and again in my life 
who has such who has such courage to ask krishna that my dear lord all those difficult times which i have gone through i want that back and i want it every day every day all those problems all the sufferings all this lamentation because in in those moments my remembrance of my remembrance of you is at the peak i literally remember you 24 hours sukunti varani saying i want that kind of difficulties that kind of problems because you are easily available but now you are going she is saying now you are going and everything what we have achieved is also going to go this this mother earth you know mother earth is giving everything when lord krishna was on the planet she mother earth was giving all the required uh, things which are essential for the people in general everything was given but now uh, the all the name fame pratishtha what the pandavas got because of whom it was because of krishna and kunti marani singh now we are going so everything all everything will go so that was the uh, kunti marani was concluding that uh, we are very fortunate that you are actually very merciful to us than mother devaki because for mother devaki when she was in trouble you when her sons children were in trouble you did not rescue her you allowed those sons to die but when my sons were in trouble you personally came and rescued them so there is a difference you are more compassionate you are more uh, caring for me huh? so i offer my respectful obeisances to you again and again so when uh, so when kunti marani ji was uh, glorifying the lord accepted those prayers by with a smile and at that time yudhishthir maharaj came to stop krishna and yudhishthir maharaj said i don't want to accept the kingdom by dear lord i don't want this kingdom so before the before the battle arjuna was lamenting after the battle yudhishthir maharaj was lamenting <laughs> Uh, before the battle arjuna said in the middle of the battlefield in the middle of both the armies in the middle of can you imagine bhagavad gita where what is spoken krishna shulla sat nicely on the vyasasan right and it will be very nicely spoken the bhagavad gita but where did krishna speak bhagavad gita in the middle of the battlefield imagine the sh- the counsels were blown krishna kauravas and the pandavas they were opposite of each other councils were blown and only the war was about to start at that time arjuna requested the lord arjuna that my dear lord can you please take me in the middle of the army he said okay what's the problem i'll take you so lord drives the chariot in the middle of the army and then arjuna krishna stands up he stands and says look your uncle your chacha your chacha and and <laughs> he said your your grandfather your guru your guru maharaj <laughs> huh? everybody is there your cousins and everybody is there and arjuna starts you know arjuna said oh my god i have to fight with all these people i have to fight with gurudev i have to fight with pitama bhishma and then he said oh oh my god he is going from my hands oh i cannot fight krishna what are you if i even if i have to get the I, the even if i the kingdom of the swarga uh, i don't want it what is the use of this kingdom if these people are not there in the world i don't want to fight and and uh, so arjuna and krishna said to arjuna okay to shula declare that the war is over that arjuna wants to take sanyas that judish maharaj let's go back we are wasting your time you're all we're all foolish here huh? and then uh, arjuna got bewildered and he surrendered to krishna karpanne dosha bahata swabhava prashyamitam dharma samuda chetta yashraya syarishitam rohitam me shishyaste ham shadi mamam kartam now here the situation was also very unusual and then krishna sp- then krishna spoke the bhagavad gita to arjuna and relieved him and then then arjuna told to krishna karishya vachanam tava krishna spoke the entire bhagavad gita now krishna is a coach not a counselor <laughs> Did understand the huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. If you see, when Krishna, uh, Arjuna asked for counsel, and Krishna gave the gave the Bhagavad Gita, spoke the Bhagavad Gita, and then you take the decision. Krishna did not force 
his decision onto him. He did not do that. There's a difference. When people ask you for counseling, you give your verdict. What has to be done? But you don't know the real situation. So best is to encourage people to come to their own decision. So here, Krishna gave Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna and told, if you want, I can repeat it again. So you decide what you have to do. And Arjuna said, Karishya Vachanam Tava. Whatever you say, I will do. And he said, then I want you should fight. So fight for Arjuna. So he fought. Here, this Maharaj was lamenting. Why was he lamenting? Oh, 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 the whole battle was fought because of me. I am responsible for this. And now I have to accept the kingdom. What is, I don't want to accept the kingdom. I am a very sinful man. So everybody started to explain him, explaining the Yudhishthi Maharaj. Who started explaining? Veda Vyasri. The personality who wrote 4 lakh verses. He is very learned, very scholarly. Veda Vyas. When we say scriptures, it means Veda Vyasri. That Veda Vyas was trying to convince who? Yudhishthi Maharaj. Was he getting convinced? No. Dhome Rishi started convincing him. Was he getting convinced? No. So many other rishis came and trying to convince this Maharaj where he was getting convinced? No. Krishna himself, Adhut Karvana Krishna himself was trying to convince this Maharaj. Was he getting convinced? No. no. How come? Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is the Paramatma in the hearts of other living entities and he is trying to convince someone who is not getting convinced. How can this be possible? Right? Vishwanath Sagar Hakur gives an explanation. He says, Lord is Arbhut Karmana. From outside, he was trying to explain Yudhishthi Maharaj. And then as Paramatma in the heart of Yudhishthi Maharaj, he was not allowing Yudhishthi Maharaj to accept what all of them were saying. Why? Why? Because Yudhishthi Maharaj uh, was bewildered by the Lord. For what is the purpose? Because Krishna wanted to establish the glories of Pitama Bhishma. It was, that it was high because Pitama Bhishma was on the bed of arrows. He was in his last pastimes. He was performing his last pastimes. He was about to leave his body. So the Lord decided it is now the time that Pitama Bhishma be established as a Mahajan all across the world. Let the world not think, let the history writers not think that Pitama Bhishma, because he fought on behalf of the Kauravas, that means he is he performed Adharma. No. And then Krishna said to Arjitishya Maharaj, So Yudhishthir, what do you think of Pitama Bhishma? Do you have faith in Bhishma Pitama? He said, yes, of course. So what, will you accept whatever he says? Yes, of course. Whatever Krishna, whatever Pitama Vishnu says, I'll accept. Why? Because he knows as per the time, as per the place, as per circumstances, what is Dharma. So let's go. So all of them they went, the Pitama Vishnu was there. And <clears throat> Pitama Vishnu, he <clears throat> everybody, all of all of them they came there and they all touched Pitama's feet. Yudhishthi Maharaj, all the Pandavas, everybody touched Pitama. Krishna also touched the Pita, 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 Lord, uh, Pitamaha Vishnu and uh, Yudhishthi Maharaj uh, sat down nearby and when Pitama Vishnu was on the battle bed, on, the, on the bed of arrows he was he was going to speak his last talk uh, in his body so all the great personalities all the great Mahajanas from all across the globe all across the universe they all came to hear the last talk of Pitama Vishnu Great, great personalities came and they all sat, sat down. Can you imagine someone on the bed of arrows is going to give the Bhagavatam seminar. Huh? He's going to speak on the uh, so many different subject matters. So Pita Mahabhishma, <coughs> uh, he knew the problem of Yudhishthi Maharaj. That Yudhishthi Maharaj was not accepting the kingdom and everything. He knew very well. So, <clears throat> Pitama Bhishma started saying that Krishnam cha tat prabhavagya 
आसीनम जगदीश्वरम हृदयस्थम पूजया मास माया उत्पात विग्रह कृष्ण ही युधिष्ठ महाराज स्टार्टेड सॉरी पितामा भीष्म स्टार्टेड सेंट युधिष्ठ महाराज एन एवरी वन दैट लॉर्ड कृष्ण इज सिचुएटेड इन एवरी वन हार्ट ही मैनिफेस्ट हिज ट्रांसिडेंटल फॉर्म बाय हिज इंटरनल पोटेंसी पिता को बीच में सेंट टू एवरीबडी देर एंड ही एंड दिस लॉर्ड दिस सुप्रीम लॉर्ड इज सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ अस दिस इज एक्चुअल सुप्रीम पर्सनलिटी ऑफ गॉडेड एंड पिता आई आई एम वर्शिपिंग दिस पर्सनैलिटी पिता भीष्मा इज सेंग दैट इज सेंग दिदिश महाराज दैट अहो कृष्ण अहो ज्ञान यदि धर्म नंदना जीवित नाथम क्लिष्टम धर्म विप्र धर्माचुताश्रय Pitama Bhishma is saying to Pandavas that what all terrible, terrible sufferings you have gone through. All of us as devotees, we are here today, but we have all of us we have gone through terrible sufferings in our life. So many ups and downs have come in our life, and we have crossed all those tests, and today we are sitting here at the lotus feet of the Sangha Dev. And there are so many tests going to come. Exams are not over. Exams are over. Exams will get over when we are on the last, final, uh, taking our last breath. Till that time, we will experience exams. Uh, so, <clears throat> Pitama Bishma is saying that lot of injustice has happened to you. You have suffered a lot. and you did not deserve you want to remain alive in these circumstances but still you are alive you know why because you have taken shelter of three this is for all of us also we have to we also have to take shelter of three three things vipra dharma achyut ashraya vipra means brahmana the sadhus hmm? dharma we should always follow dharma we should always follow what is right and achyut ashraya we should take shelter of achyut these three things are these three are the assets of the devotees if we follow these three things we will we'll, we'll pass all the exams coming in our life and <clears throat> pitama bishma was saying that ma, i can see my daughter in law kunti she became a widow with many children with many children and therefore she also suffered greatly and after when you are children she suffered and now when you are grown up also she is suffering so who is to be blamed for this sir because this maharaj's problem was he was considering himself responsible for all this battle so pitama bishma is now constructively helping him to understand that you are not the cause of all the losses it's krishna यु आर सेइंग सर्व काल कृतम मन्ने भवताम चेतत प्रियम सपालो यद्वशे लोक वायोरिव घनावलि यु आर सेइंग दैट इन माय ओपिनियन ऑल दिस थिंग्स व्हिच आर हैपनिंग इन द लाइफ ऑफ द पांडवाज इन आवर लाइफ आल्सो इट्स ऑल बिकॉज़ ऑफ इनेविटेबल टाइम हु अंडर हुज कंट्रोल एवरी प्लैनेट इज देयर एंड ही सेइंग दैट जस्ट इमेजिन ऑल ऑफ यू Yudhishthira Maharaj knows dharma very well. Arjuna is there in their team. The Gandhi Udhari Arjuna is there. Bhima is there. Nakul and Sahadev is there. Krishna himself is there. But all of this put together, this such a such in such a team together, ha? Huh? Still there is what troubles in the life of the of the devotees. Imagine Yudhishthira Maharaj had the Pandavas had Krishna with them. and the pandavas themselves were very very powerful still there were difficulties in their life so what has to be said for all of us if we find some difficulties in our life why is there need to be afraid of the life of the pandavas are kept in the bhagavatam so that we all can take inspiration from it and pitama bhishma is saying that all this is the plan of the lord and then uh this one is saying but uh how to know that this is the plan of the lord many many people question how to know this this is the plan of the lord what is happening in my life is the plan of the lord or plan of maya or it is my plan whose plan is this uh, this is our question right and so pitama bishma said this is all happening because of the plan of the lord and 
He is saying that even the great philosopher also they get bewildered. Do not try to understand the plan of the Lord because they also get get, get bewildered. And then Pitama Bhishma is establishing Krishna as supreme personality of Godhead. He is saying, Eshavai Bhagavan Sakshat Adyo Narayana Bhuman. Hey Yudhishthir, hey Arjun, hey Bhim, do you know who is Krishna? Eshavai Bhagavan Sakshat Adyo Narayana Bhuman. He is the, he is no other than inconceivable supreme personality of Godhead. He is the Adi Narayan. And what is he doing? He is a supreme enjoyer. What is he doing? He is moving among the descendants of Rishni. Just like one of us. He is roaming amongst us like one of us. But he is the supreme personality of Godhead. He is the causes of all the causes. It is not an ordinary thing. Do not consider him as an ordinary person like you and me. He is Sakshad Narayan. He is Adi Narayan. And then further he says, Yasyanu Bhavam Bhagavan Veda Bhuyatavam Shivaha Devarshi Narada Sakshat Bhagavan Kapil Nrupa. And whatever I am saying, there are 12 Mahajanas who know this. The Bhagavan Kapil knows this. Vedas know this. Shiva knows this. Narada knows this. Everybody knows this. <laughs> and uh, you, you this chair, out of love, out of ignorance, I'll say out of ignorance, you considered him as your natural cousin, you consider him as your friend, you consider him as your well-wisher, you consider him as benefactor, messenger, you did everything with him. Krishna used to, I don't, we don't have so much time, but you know, Krishna did everything for them. Krishna became a driver for them. Krishna became a driver of Arjuna. You know, driver's role, if you go in, you know, the driver, what, what does he do? He when he, you know, the, when the uh, owner comes or the owner of the car comes, he opens the door, makes him sit, and then he goes and sit in the, then sit and he drives, right? Krishna is more like that. Whenever Arjuna, he used to drive the car in the front of Arjuna's tent, and he used to wait for Arjuna. Arjuna has to come. Krishna has to put his hand, and Arjuna has to put the hand on Krishna's hand, and he has to get into the chariot. And while getting down, also Arjuna used to hold Krishna's. Hand. Krishna has to jump out first. Hold Arjuna's hand, bring him down, and that's how he was he used to do. And Krishna used to personally bathe the horses of Arjuna's chariot. He used to personally take care of them. And, there was, and he used to he used to do everything for giving pleasure because that, that's what he liked. That's what he liked. <clears throat> so being the supreme personality of Godhead, he is present in everyone's heart, he is, equal, he is equally kind to everyone and he is free from the false ego of differentiation. Therefore, he is free from all kinds of material inability. So, so Gita Bhishma is trying to establish uh, Krishna's supreme personality of Godhead and he is trying to help everybody understand that please simply do what Krishna is saying. And then Pitama Bhishma started to speak on uh, so many different subject matters, you know. He, he started to speak on uh, Dan Dharma, how, the Dharma of Charity, Raj Dharma, how, how a king shall rule, Moksha Dharma, how about the salvation. He started speaking on Stri Dharma, what, a, what should the content of the woman should be, Bhagavad Dharma, he spoke on the Bhagavad Dharma Tattva, he spoke on so many different subject matters. And finally, after speaking on so many different subject matters, the, the time came and the sun entered the northern hemisphere. And at that time, Pitama Bhishma knew that it is time for him to go. So he withdrew his senses and he withdrew his talks from all different subject matters and he started focusing on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He fixed his mind unto the Lord and started glorifying Krishna's name, fame, and pastimes. And then, singing the glories of the Lord, Pitama Bhishma, fixing his mind in Krishna, he left the world. And when Pitama Bhishma left the world, all the great personalities assembled there, they all showered flowers on Pitama Bhishma. All the 14 planetary systems, they each and every one in the 14 planetary system, they, they all came and showered flowers on Pitama Bhishma. And then, <clears throat> uh, then Vidishri Maharaj accepted the kingdom. Then he accepted the kingdom very happily and he ruled very nicely. His kingdom was compared to the kingdom of Lord Ramachandra. When Lord Ramachandra was there, he was ruling the king, he was ruling the kingdom, whole earth. At that time, earth 
all earth gave its tax how how earth pay how the rivers rivers paid the tax how the river pays the tax by giving whatever is essential how the mountains pay the tax by giving all the minerals and everything whatever is essential so everybody was giving was doing their respective duty in the district manavas kingdom so the whole world was very happy and ushri maharaj <clears throat> when uh, so he accepted the kingdom and then lord krishna went and asked permission from ushri maharaj to leave for dwarka and finally ushri maharaj gave the permission and then all the preparations for lord departure to dwarka happened uddhava satyaki and all they they started uh, all the arrangements were made and the lord sat on the chariot and everybody followed and uh, the the women of hasinapur they all gathered on their on the palaces and they were watching the lords they taking they taking the final darshan of the lord as as the lord was departing for uh, dwarka and uh, they were they were glorifying the lord's name fame past tense whatever they whatever they knew and here uh, the lord's intimate servants they were all glorifying and uh, 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 different they there is some of them are using chamar some of them are were using different uh, kinds of uh, uh, ways to serve the lord arjuna was holding the you know the, the umbrella for example so <clears throat> in this way all of them uh, they were rendering some service and all of them they went till a certain distance to see the lord see the lord and then the lord himself said that all of you can go back now to hastinapur in this way the lord departed uh, for dwarka and various uh, he went through various provinces and finally he reached dwarka after so many months and when lord krishna reached dwarka he played his kaunshal and as soon as he played the kaunshal everybody in dwarka left their respective services whatever they were doing and they all rushed to the gate of dwarka the main gate of dwarka and they were very very happy very very pleased to see dwarka desh hmm? they saw darshan of the lord and they everybody including the prostitutes the everybody was offering obeisances to the lord every and and there were people who who loved krishna out of parental affection so they 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 greeted him in certain way some of them were krishna's friends some of them were, were servants of krishna some of them so every each one of them reciprocate uh, offer their respectful you know uh, regards to the lord and the lord reciprocate to each each one of them accordingly to each one of them he was reciprocating accordingly and, and finally the lord entered the uh, to meet his enter the dwarka dham actual palace and he met his parents uh, met his mother uh, met his father and the mother as soon as they saw krishna the, the milk started coming out from the breast of the mother and uh, that is because because of the vatsalya and when all these things were happening and then finally after greeting everybody meeting everybody krishna finally went to his palace of his wives 16000 palaces and they all saw krishna and krishna entered each all the palaces in one time one krishna he expanded himself in 16108 and he entered the uh, but before that before actual that could happen all the all the wives of krishna they first embrace krishna in their in their heart and then they send their children to embrace the father and uh, when when krishna embraced the children then gradually gradually the whole thing was such that uh, uh, krishna entered the palace and that's how we uh, end our today's discussion any questions uh, you may have we can take those hari krishna yes yes prabhu Another one, although it can be found in dirty waters, unclear waters, it's always beautiful and untouched by these waters. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering if there are other reasons, maybe that the Lord's different features, other parts are always described with the lotus flower. Actually, <clears throat> uh, the Lord's 
form lots uh, cannot be compared to the lotus because lotus lotus is from our dual world hmm? and the lord's body is transcendental okay so there can there cannot be any comparison like this but for for the us to relate to huh, this comparison is done because there is no other way to give an analogy but to a, to a beautiful because lotus is very beautiful hmm? and for 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 us to understand for the people in general or the devotees to relate to huh? but if you ask that the lord is lord like lotus definitely not is anything uh to the is lord is like lord lotus no it is far 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 more beautiful than it that can be it cannot be compared but just to help us help our mundane mind uh understand or relate to the uh, this is this comparison is often done hmm? otherwise it is far far more superior the lord's beauty the lord's glance the lord's uh, uh you know everything about the lord madharam 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 hmm? everything is sweeter and uh, everything is far far more beautiful that beauty is of a transcendental nature and lotus is a part of the material world <laughs> anything else yes prabhu ji thank you shri prabhu very good thank you for wonderful summary very good shri prabhu ji um i switched to bhagavad gita because you mentioned <laughs> <laughs> just a quick question i got your videos by the way <laughs> <laughs> you know adam prabhu yes Actually, I yeah, can talk it later. <laughs> <laughs> Doing back about Gita podcasts now, maybe we can record some. Um, the question is: Arjuna asked, asked Krishna to come in front of the battlefield, yeah. and then all of a sudden, Arjuna got bewildered, and Krishna spoke the whole back about Gita, and the whole battlefield, everyone was waiting for it. Yeah. Because Acharya said, "Don't describe it. I never read it about." Yes. So. Everybody in the battlefield heard the Bhagavad Gita mm. because Pitama Bhishma instructed everybody to hear what what was being said, and naturally from the side of the Kauravas, they were anyways uh, from the Pandavas side, anyways they were they were they were seeing what was happening. So all the sixty all the sixty four crore people on the battlefield they heard, but how one might one might say how they can hear because it was happening in the middle of the army. So how everybody heard? Yeah. Why you there? by the way he made sure that the the vibrations which was coming out from the the talks the discussion was he be, it became audible to each and everyone there and the beauty of this battle was that ev- anybody or everybody who died in the battlefield this battle kurukshetra battle they attended vaikuntha why because they all left their bodies in front of the lord Krishna has Krishna has actually uh, delivered all of them. So all those who all those who left their bodies, this was a special battle. Usually, any battle which is fought, if a soldier dies, he he automatically is promoted to the heavenly planets. But here was a special battle. He was the anybody who was dying was been elevated to the abode of the Lord. because krishna lord krishna's name is hari sarva amangal hari prem diya hari man so all the nostalgiousness in the lives of all those people there was taken away by lord hari and lord and krishna was krishna has uh, delivered the match so it was not just so you came up there was you went back to vaikuntha you went to vaikuntha this is not good how to write this vishwanath jagad is very interesting acharya <laughs> he writes all those things This is all is he has explained. Any other questions? Yes, sir. Thanks, Abhul. Thanks for an interesting lecture. You were mentioning about uh, the big data and uh, about five ways the one can approach and read Bhagavad Gita. I'm not sure if we have time. We will discuss that. Oh, yes. <laughs> that when the time comes. Right. Yeah. This is just a second session. There are twenty more sessions to go. 
How many chapters did we cover actually? Today, till eleven. Eleven chapters. Yeah, I'm, as per my schedule, I'm I'm I'm, I'm blacking behind. Yes, <laughs> no. But I'll cover up tomorrow. Today the engine has started. Tomorrow it will be the fast track. It will be every day morning and evening. Yeah. Yes. Every morning during Bhagavatam class, every evening this time. In uh, UK, some few months back, I was in UK. I spoke the entire Shmad Bhagavatam in seven days, two hours every day. That means 14 sessions. Uh, you know, 14 hours we did it. So here, the nursing day is very kind. He is allowing some more time. <laughs> there, every day I covered covered 50 chapters. So it was very interesting. Anyways, any other questions? Yes, Prabhu. I have a small question. You mentioned three ways, uh, three things to which we should surrender: Vipra, Dharma, and Achyut Ashraya. Achyut means Lord Krishna. Vipra means the Brahmanas, the Vaishnavas, Sadhus. Dharma means following the principles of Bhagavad Dharma. Achyut means Lord Krishna. So, as devotees, we should be taking shelter of these three. Is this spoken by Vishnu? Yeah. Why will I speak on that? <laughs> <laughs> this one, it's Vishnu from somewhere. Pitama Vishnu spoke this. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Hare Krishna. Grantra Ashwan Bhagavatam Ki. Yeah. See you all tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. All night.